Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. And what we're going to talk about today is are edge routers secure? So there has been a couple of articles where the FBI um, has actually fixed some security on edge routers. There's another one uh, that just came out, and I'll put a link to it. It actually came out um, on the 27th. And here we go. Russian cyber actors use compromised routers to facilitate cyber operations, and they specifically name Ubiquity edge routers. What they tell us in this release is to protect against this APT28 activity, we should perform a, a hardware factory reset, upgrade to the latest firmware, change any default usernames and passwords, and implement strategic firewall rules on the WAN side. Now, if we scroll down into this article, um, this is where I'm going to have an opinion about this, right? So right here it says, Ubiquity Edge Routers have a user-friendly Linux-based operating system that makes them popular for both consumer, consumers and malicious cyber actors. Well, first of all, you have to want to understand the command line if that's what we're talking about. Now, the UI on this, I will admit, the UI on the Edge Router is very nice, but you still have to understand what you're doing. Uh, here's where I'm really going to start kind of diverge from this. It says edge routers are often shipped with default credentials and limited to no firewall protections to accommodate wireless internet service providers. Okay. This is an edge router in the box. If you go and you order an edge router and it's brand new from anywhere and you take it out of the box and you plug it in, it doesn't do anything. It doesn't work. It doesn't route traffic. What does it do out of the box? Well, out of the box, it's going to power on. And you're going to have to plug into. You're going to have to plug into ETH0, and you're going to have to put your computer in the 192.168.1.0/24 network, and then you're going to have to connect to 192.168.1.1, and you're going to have to configure this device to do something. Now you can do it manually, or you can use the built-in wizards. And the wizards allow you to automatically create a different username and password. So let's, let's back up, right? So if you log into this and you just configure it um, more than likely, if you just go in, you put a WAN address on it and a LAN address on it, and that's it, this thing's still not going to serve your internet, even if you have the WAN set up as DHCP, because it has to have NAT set up or it has to be configured to do routing. These out of the box have to be configured. So I have to disagree uh, with this, this paper. So from Ubiquity, these are not shipped like that. Now, is it possible that an ISP, and I don't know why they're naming WISPs here because these things are used for more than just WISPs, but is it possible for an ISP, whether they're wireless or otherwise, to configure one of these weekly and ship it in a weak manner and ship it to a client. Absolutely. And that is then on the ISP. If you use the wizard that is built into this, if you use the WAN to LAN to wizard, it will allow you to create a different username besides UBNT. And it will set the firewall rules automatically so that you cannot manage this from the WAN. It doesn't allow 443, it doesn't allow 22, it doesn't allow the discovery as long as you run the wizard. Or if you understand what you're doing and you set these set these up, you can set them up in a very secure manner. So I I don't know so they they worded this very very vaguely, right? And so I would hate for anybody to think that Ubiquity is shipping these edge routers in an insecure fashion because out of the box, they don't do anything besides allow you to connect and run the configuration, which means somebody else has done the configuration on the edge router. Um, then they say, additionally, edge routers do not automatically update firmware unless a con 
consumer configures them to do so. So edge routers, that is correct. They don't do that. And as far as I know, and maybe there's an article out there, I didn't know that anybody was doing automatic edge router upgrades. Maybe if you've got a bunch of them and they're connected to UISP, maybe you're doing automatic upgrades. Everything else uh, here um, is, is technical details, but I'm going to leave, I'll leave a link to this down below. But I, I just want you to know that this device out of the box is just as secure as any other um, device can be out of the box, right? If you're using default usernames and passwords, that's that's definitely bad practice. And and you've seen me in videos before say, yeah, I'm going to use, you know, UBNT, UBNT. Don't do that in production. Change that password before you get to production. You've heard me say that. You've seen me say that. Never use the default credentials and always make sure you've got a firewall, you know, and other manufacturers um, like Grandstream, they don't use default credentials. Every device that's shipped has a different password, right? So that's how they handle it. Because you could take any of these routers, you could take any route, you could take a Palo Alto firewall and you could configure it in a way that it is not secure, right? <laughs> and put it on the internet. You could absolutely do that with any device. So out of the box, you have to configure this. They don't just come like that. You know, you have to log into the device, you know, so let me know what you think about this. I'll leave a link to this. I think it is a bad deal, um, but it just shows the popularity of the uh, of the ubiquity devices that uh, so many of them are being compromised and used in you know these types of attacks. Now, there was uh, another article last week that talks about how the FBI went in and they actually patched people's routers. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I don't have, I, I've got to think about that a little bit longer, but um, this is definitely a deal. So if you've got edge routers and you didn't configure it yourself and you don't know if it's secure, uh, if your service provider is managing it, you need to find out if they, you know, if, if they're taking care of it. And, you know, if you have an edge router and you need somebody to check it out, Head on over to willyhow.com, fill out our contact form. We'll get in touch with you. We'll check it out. We'll help you secure things. So, and if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe, comment, share. Follow me on Twitter and TikTok. Those links are down below along with affiliate links, a Patreon link if you'd like to use that. And, of course, you can head over to willyhow.com for all things IT consulting related and we have our new community at community.willyhow.com make sure you go sign up for that once again i'm willie i want to know what you think about this and as always i'll see you in the next video